Hey Tubers, it's uh, Monday night, uh, John claude Van Damme's on TV. Uh, that's temp in the garage, that's time. And uh, yeah, I started on another project. I'm just going to do this project totally separate from the car, okay? We are building, building drawers down there. That's a pull, that's a slide, and the other one's right there. See it sitting right there? Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to do this, and uh, I'll load it up when it gets pretty, when it, before the video gets really long. So it's, I'm not going to do it on a daily basis, but right now I'm making mounts to where the seat the ply, uh, the 2x4 down there, I'm making mounts for the rails to roll on. Then we got to figure out how high up they got to go. The 2x3s here are going to make the bottom portion of the shelf or the drawer I should say but we got this side to do and I got some chisel work to do here so that's what we're doing so uh, more when I have some more to show you later oh, double impacts over okay so this is what I did it's notched for the leg that's down there. I don't know if you guys can make it out. Hold it. Let's see. See it? So. And then this. So this is what I came up with. I'll uh, end up screwing it, toe nailing it, or screwing, screw nailing it, toe nailing it, whatever, on the angle on both sides. So, yeah. So. No, I don't want to watch that now. Hang on, let's go back. Thank you. Let me find something else to watch. So, so I got to drill out the other side yet, but uh, I'm calling it tonight. I'm going to finish this beer in the shot, and uh, we'll pick something for tomorrow and uh, call it an evening. I want to thank everybody for watching and subscribing and all that good stuff. And uh, we'll pick this up in the morning. Uh, see, do I get anything tomorrow morning? Nope, nope, nope. So after I take care of a few chores, I should be out here roughly right before lunch. And uh, we'll pick this one up again. Uh, tomorrow, hopefully get this mounted, figure out the elevation to mount the rails, build the box, mount it to the rails, slide it in and see if I have the right idea. And if I do, then turn around and uh, we go get some plywood. And then we build, finish building the drawer. All right. I'm babbling now. Evening, guys. Ooh, I could say for 10 more minutes. Morning tubers. Great escape on the tube. Yep. Well, we're back on this. Last night I was able to finish drilling that piece out. Today we're going to drill this. Then we'll get them both mounted set the rails today hopefully and maybe build the box and mount the box and sit there and see how it work, how it works pulling it back in and out so that's where we're at i got my entertainment i got my work i'll bring you guys back when i got some more to show you later ooh, ooh. This was a great movie. All right, <clears throat> got them mounted in, and they were solid. I was thinking of toe screwing them in, you know, or toe nailing, whatever you want to call it. But I don't think I'm going to need to do that. So they're both in. Now we're going to figure out the track. I'm going to need to cut a two by three, uh, at least 28 inches, so I can figure out how this is all going to fit together because remember we just can't put the track down you gotta it's there's some adjustment needed to be made there so as I uh, get going on it and figure it out I'll bring you guys back later all right this was the fun part but this seems to uh, just clamped into place so that's why I'm and it goes to the clamp but it would go back in so the 
Let's keep this out and I'll show you what I did. Oh. Okay. It's a 3 8 nut and a flat washer. Same thing there. The board is dead center of the mount. And as you can see, pretty well stays. Now don't forget this tool bench isn't perfectly square and level and all that neat stuff. But yeah. So this would slide in and out. Now, keep in mind, there's a piece of plywood that goes underneath here. Okay. So let me put this on hold. Or let me shut this down for a minute and I'll bring you guys back later. All right, we use a piece of plywood and a 3 8 nut and uh, two flat washers. But the screws I'm using would stick, would stick out too far. So but let's take this out of here. And, and that'll give more than enough underneath for the for the bottom. So I got to measure and check. But at least I have it where I screwed it in. I have a dimension then to where it is. But yeah. And once I establish this, this is going to be for all of them. So it, this is take your time, do it, and because then it'll work uh, for each one. Yeah, I was under there, or we were under there. But yeah. So. I'm going to think if I'm going to maybe give myself a little bit more. But uh, where those screws are located, we'll sit there and come up with a, the screw holes into here. We'll come up with a dimension. Because this will be the same thing up here, on this side too, on that side, on that side, and up there too. So take your time. I'm taking my time so I get it right. I can always build the drawer front out. You know, so I'm not worried about that. But yeah. So, let me ponder about this, make some measurements, and do a few other things. But, uh, uh, you see where I'm at. And I just want to make sure. I'd rather be give myself more than not enough and be safe and sorry. And then the other thing is, we're going to have to figure out what we're going to use to sit there and screw those in. So, all right, guys, when I get more, I'll bring you back later. All right, the box outside dimensions is 50 and a 16th across and 28 and a half. Now, that's not going to give me the solid door front to here, but I will build that out as I, I will build that out as I make the doors or the, the fronts for the drawers. Doors, drawers, Jesus. All right. So it's inch and a half, inch and a half is the thickness. I didn't want to, let's say, cut these to fit inside this because then that'll be constantly pulling on that joint. So we cut these smaller and the length is going to fit inside the sides. So then as I'm pulling the drawer open and close, it won't work on that joint as much. So we took an inch and a half, inch and a half off. For the width and these are them these are the 28 and a half so see it's just about an inch and a half so 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 next up is the 47 and the 16th out of those and uh yeah so Again, this is the prototype. We're just figuring out if I can do this, so. And I'm just swinging, you know, just hitting each problem as it crops up. So here we are. All right, when I get the box done, I'll bring you guys back later. Hey, tubers. Uh, it's, uh, what, Tuesday evening? And this is what we did today. As you saw, I don't know where I left off on this. I know we were doing stuff, but 
it does come out. And it does slide back. And this I was and the one by two here was figuring out the, the drawer front. Come on. Yeah. So that's what that was doing. So we still need this. This is a test block. But yeah, I like it. Came out good. Next now is to build the box. The floor will go underneath. Under here. I'm pretty sure there's an I got it up enough to or got it high enough to sit there and to uh put the floor. If not put it on top, who cares? But I want it underneath. So if I have to make some adjustments, I will. Remember, this is just the test one. Next one's going to be that one. So, I, so yeah, we're going one, two, three, four. Other thing is, is if I put drawers here, this is going to have to go away. So I've been sitting there trying to figure out where to put that. I could put it, stick it back in the corner, but that means I'm dragging air hose over when I'm on the tool bench. So, and that's why this one has a regulator on it because I use it for my airbrush, which is right there in that Huggies box. So, yeah, I don't even, I don't even use that air compressor anymore. And that's a good air compressor. All right. So, I think I'll load this up tonight, but this is where we're at on this little project. Uh, on the side note, on the windows, it's under here. And that one's out on the windows. Uh, Safe Light, I, they haven't returned yet my call, so we're still trying to get hooked up with them, and uh, the polishing compound will be here Saturday, so, so. But in the meantime, we're doing this. This is been in the back of my head for God I want to say maybe about 12 years yeah I haven't had time or got around to do it the only thing is it's sitting there picking out the door slides or the drawer slides yeah uh, these are 100 pound slides this next one is going to be probably five I think we're just going to stick with 500 pounds and slides all the way across and then if the mood hits I'll change this one out to 500 pound slides too but this is just to see if this was feasible right now. So I'm babbling. So I want to thank everybody for watching, subscribing, and of course leaving comments. And we'll be putting this up tonight later. Dang, I don't know where I left off with you guys. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, figuring out the drawer front. It's going to be at least a three-quarter inch sheet on the front. That's what, uh, that's a one by two. And it'll slide under there. So, hmm. I got some figuring out to do. But, uh, yeah. Oh, does it work? Yeah, it works. Just to give me an idea on how the the drawer front might be. Come on, I had you propped in there. Did you go all the way back? Yeah, you did. So, yeah. So, that's what I'm figuring out. Sorry for the shaky cam, guys. But, yeah. Okay. So, been out here drawing up a few things, trying to figure out a few things, figuring out how much I'm going to get out of a per sheet of plywood. That stuff is expensive now. And, uh, yeah. So, but that's where we're at. And uh, when I get more, I'll uh, bring you guys back later. Drawer pulls.
Yep, that's what I'm thinking. So, I got two of them made. You know, funny thing about it is, you know, I keep bragging about going to McFaddendale, and that's what I did is I went to McFaddendale. And uh, yesterday when I was putting that together, what happened is I needed to go get some, uh, uh, the, what do they call them, pan head or, or uh, rounded top Phillips screws. So, yeah, see them? So, yeah, they're number 10 by inch and a half to sit there and screw the frame to the, uh, to the slide. So I went and got those, and every other screw I was sitting there stripping the Phillips head out of and everything else. And I was sitting there going, okay, wonder why. Hmm. I think I found the culprit right there. So I threw those back over there and uh, went to McFaddendale to sit there and uh, get some number 10 rounded Phillips head screws. And they're wood screw. Their wood screw assortment, I'm, I'm serious, their wood screw assortment was from the refrigerator to the end of the tool bench, all the way to the ceiling with shelves, you know, boxes and everything. But what you could see was eye level, was, was eye level. So, and uh, yeah, and that was it. Had nothing. I asked the girl. She said, no, that's it. And I said, okay. So I ordered them online. I don't know when I'm going to get them, but uh, that'll be it. Uh, these are going to have different. They're going to probably have some some flathead uh, bolts, machine bolts that'll go in there. So, but yeah, I couldn't believe it. I keep bragging about this place. Keep bragging about this place, and and I'm going to put the tape up. And uh, what they got is is sit there and there's nothing. I mean, heck. So, I don't know. So, we are going to hit them with some self etching, and then uh, I have an assortment of different duplicate primers, and then we'll paint them black. I think black will give a nice contrast off the gray. So, that's where I'm at. Like I say, this is going to be slow going, uh, nothing going on. Uh, the glass is still there, all under towels and everything, and underneath the blankets back there. But uh, uh, I'm waiting to hear back from Safe Light, and I'm waiting for some more money to come in so I can buy some plywood, and that's where I'm at. So when I get more, I'll bring you guys back later. Evening, guys. It uh, they've been wiped down with. Uh, Lacquer thinner, uh, then tacked off, and then uh, I've been—they've been hit with etch primer, and then slowly little bit of coats of uh, primer sealer, and uh, they've been been flipped. They've been flipped around and maneuvered, and you can see the different spots in the in my cardboard paint booth that uh, they've been going around in, and then. Uh, I'm thinking gloss black because the bench is a flat gray and I'm thinking a gloss black so but I'll think on it tonight have a beer or two and uh, y'all have a good evening later I swear I keep forgetting to pull the camera out got some plywood today and got three sheets five eighths and the shop sanded one side or smooth one side or whatever one side smooth it's not really sanded uh, so we're putting the bin start putting together those are sides I cut up one sheet already it's the so we'll see what happens I'm trying to minimize my cuts and get as much out of a sheet as I can so we got the sides there's the back for the and I'm just getting ready to screw the bait, the bottom on. So, and we're going to do it with deck screws. So, so that's where I'm at. And when I get more, I'll bring you guys back later. All right. So. 
I got the back laying in there. Those are sides. And tomorrow we'll cut the front out of one of those sheets over there. So that's where we're at, guys. So just moving right along. When I get more, I'll bring you guys back later. Got a mess going on in the driveway. That Makita is probably as old as that Chevy. <laughs> it's an old one. There's hardly any plastic on it. It's all metal. Okay, here's where we're at. Oh. Sides and back are on. So now we're getting ready to measure up for the front. And then I was thinking when I get it all done and everything, I think I'll paint the whole front of the tool bench again. Yeah. Yeah. So. Because these will be all fresh paint and then we have that, you know. So next phase, I ordered the, the sliders for that one. Everything up there will go down there once this one's finished and painted. You know, they're going to be painted. So we've got a few things to do yet. So this is where I'm at. It's Monday, uh, or no, mon not Monday, Wednesday, going on one. Jesus. Come on, Tom. But yeah. All right. Well, I guess break time's over. Back to work later. Plywood's got a little bit of a warp to it. But I'm not going to close it all the way. It's bare trying to get it open. But yeah. So, that was my thought. I'm thinking of putting a 2x2 a two two going all the way across just to give it a little strength. I don't know. We'll think about that. So, I like it. Yeah, one down, three to go, huh? All right, well, when I get more, I'll bring you guys back later. One down, three to go. Yeah, I like it. So, yeah, so one down, three to go. I'll load this up later. Thanks, guys. I want to thank everybody for watching, subscribing, and of course, leaving comments. Anybody want to help me come and clean up? Okay, later.